Finally, Magic 3.0 ROM is available for Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today in this video, I will show you how can you install this Magic 3.0 ROM on your Redmi Note 5 Pro and its features. And I will also tell you why should you install this ROM and the advantages and disadvantages of this ROM. So let's start the process. Hello and welcome guys, welcome to Cracksoid and before proceeding to the video, I will suggest you to guys please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, that will be very helpful for us. Now let's start the process. First of all, you have to download this magic ROM zip file from the description below. As you can see here on the screen, this is magic ROM zip file, I have already downloaded it. And as you can see here, the size is around 1.5 GB. So simply download this magic ROM zip file from the description below and save on your device. So now you have to power off your phone and go to the TWRP recovery mode. And if you don't have TWRP recovery on your phone, then I have made a separate video on how to install TWRP recovery on Redmi Note 5 Pro. So make sure you watch that video. I'll provide the link in the description below so that you can easily install TWRP on your phone. So simply switch off your phone and then you have to press power button and volume up button simultaneously and it will redirect you to the TWRP recovery mode. So this is TWRP recovery looks like. So first of all click on this wipe button and click on advanced wipe and then select Dalvik catch data system fender and swipe. and then go back and then click on install button and then source for the zip file that you have downloaded and here it is so simply click on it and then swipe and then click on next button and here you can see this kind of interface will appear you can choose your setting manually but it is the recommended setting so simply click on next and the best thing about this ROM is that you have now privileged to install the desired system application on your phone you can now choose the system application which you want to install and you can uncheck it if you don't want to install and click on next and click on next again and then it will flash your zip file so it will take some little bit of time so simply wait and the flashing process completed so simply click on agree button and then swipe click on wipe catch dalvik swipe again click on reboot system and click on do not install and then your phone will reboot here and it will take some little bit of time so simply you have to wait and you can see here the logo of MIUI 10 is changed here. So this is the modified ROM. So wait until the booting process completed. And finally the booting process completed. Click on next button. And here you have to select the language. And you, this is the simple basic setup. You can do it by yourself. So I will skip this setup. So finally we have installed Magic 3.0 ROM on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and it looks like this and first of all I will go to my settings and I will show you the about device and its specifications as you can see here on the screen the device name Redmi Note 5 Pro Android 8.1.0 and security pass level of February which is latest security pass level available right now. So then after I will show you its camera as you can see here AI mode is available on this camera and now let's see its video setting either it supports 4k video recording or not. So go to the video settings and you can see here 4k video recording at 30 fps is available and you can record 15 seconds short video on this camera and you can see the other settings and these are the other settings of this camera 
And another best feature of this Magic 3.0 ROM is that Camera to API is already enabled in this ROM. So when I go to my manual camera to check either camera to API is enabled or not, as you can see here on the screen, camera to API is enabled. The green signals indicates that camera to API is enabled in this phone. Now you just have to install Google Pixel camera on your phone. Then you will be able to enjoy Google Pixel camera on your Redmi Note 5 Pro. As you can see here, Google Pixel camera is working perfectly fine here. There are lots of modes as you can see here, night sight and every mode is available here. And if you want to install Google Pixel camera on your other ROMs on Redmi Note 5 Pro, then I have made a separate video on it. You can check the video, I will provide the link in the description so that you can easily install Google Pixel camera on your Redmi Note 5 Pro on other ROMs. There are lots of features on this ROM as you can see here on the screen, there are lots of features available in this ROM. You can do lots of stuff on this ROM like changing the transaction effect and many other stuffs. You can change the battery indicator also when you go to notification setting and on battery indicator you can select anyone. I will select top bar here. As you can see here now the battery indicator shows as the top bar here. So there are lots of other features. You can also try it by yourself. On additional settings you can enable quick ball feature also if you wanted to. And the quick ball feature allows you to use the navigation buttons easily with one hand. You can go back. You can see recent apps and you can even lock your phone. So this is the interesting feature. And there are lots of other features also and I would suggest you to once try it by yourself. Now let's answer the question why should you use Magic 3.0 ROM. Well it's simple there are no any ads like MIUI ROM. You can now install desired system application on your phone. There will be no any unwanted application as system application on your phone. On camera there will be AI mode and camera 2 API is enabled. You can record video up to 4K resolution at 30 FPS. There will be many features like changing the font settings, animation settings, theme settings and many gestures and other uh, transaction settings. Uh, GPS problem is fixed that used to be seen on the earlier version of this ROM and this ROM is smooth, fast, stable as well as reliable and benchmark score is much better than the MIUI stable and beta ROM. So these are the advantages of Magic 3.0 ROM. Now let's talk about its disadvantages. Well I haven't found any disadvantage on this ROM. Well there may be some disadvantage or some box so if you know anything about this ROM so please mention on the comment section that will be very helpful for us. And I found some minor things that should be included in this room to make this room better. And the first one is there is no any dark mode available. Dark mode should be available in this room. Many people prefer dark mode nowadays. And the second one is you can play PUBG game on balanced mode only and on medium frame rate. So this might be some disadvantages for some of you. But actually this is not a disadvantage uh, because on MIUI stock ROM there is no any dark mode available right now and you cannot play PUBG on SD graphic. We just hope on next update these things can be solved. And that's it all about the Magic 3.0 ROM on Redmi Note 5 Pro. Hope you like this ROM and if you like this ROM just hit the like button and comment below if you have any kinds of problem and share this video as much as you can. And please guys don't forget to subscribe to our crack switch channel and hit the notification bell so thank you for watching and see you in my next video okay bye